Good morning. Welcome to the QCIS channel. On this channel, you get a daily dose of science, technology, engineering, and math. My name is Leon Jones, and what I'm going to talk about today is pavement markings. Now, I'm walking up the street, and what's happening? They're putting pavement markings down. Now, the pavement markings are made with yellow waterborne paint. Now, you see these lines that they're putting down are brand new. Pavement markings are used for traffic control. Now, right now, as an inspector, the paint is wet, so we want to keep everybody off. But, now, how do they put them down? Well, they actually have a truck to put them down. Now, I don't know if I can catch the truck, but what you're looking at, these are what you call long lines. Or we call them lane lines. Now, what they're painting out here today is, we call it a suicide lane. It's a center lane where you can make left turns that generally have arrows in these turn lanes. Now, for me, they're very convenient when people utilize them right also, they're putting up brand new signs. It's brand new. Now I'm, of course, I'm doing my fast walking. It's a little bit on the cold side here in Frankfurt, Indiana. And I'm making sure that they're putting them down right. Now, generally, these lines would have beads in them. For reflectivity, they don't have lines in them because they're temporary lines. Again, this is what they look like. They're already putting them down. Generally, your lines come in white and yellow. And they have to lay them out according to the plans. Again, I'm just giving you an idea what they look like once they put them down. Now, what's going to happen with these lines, they're going to come back with a groove machine. And they're going to basically groove all the paint off of these lines so they can put down the new paint. Now, again, this is a very hectic area. And of course, we have drivers out here who are going to run over wet paint. This is why you see wet paint on the road. What I'm doing, it's about a half a mile I've walked so far. I'm just giving you an idea of what these traffic control devices look like. And I'm going to include the signs as well. And I have the signs. They're part of traffic control. And this is one final part of what's happening when they put the lines down. Gotta make sure that the traffic control is right. Now again, I'm just giving you a good feel of what the lines look like. Pavement mark. I have some people walk over wet paint. I can see it. <laughs> All right, caught up with everybody. 
looks good so far. We have to close this lane off. Make sure people aren't running over our paint. I'm right, right behind everybody. Whoops, somebody already. This is what happens when you get crazy drivers out here. This is what wet paint looks like. Some of them got paint on the tires, and generally what happens. They will come out and sue the state. So what I'm doing, I'm just giving you a walking rendition on pavement markings. Of course, other signs. Now getting you getting a good idea of what everything looks like. Looks pretty good so far. Somebody ran over that wet paint back there. Yeah, she was from Illinois. She was oh yeah, Illinois drivers aren't. They're not the. They're not the most. Uh, yeah, they. Yeah, she looked lost. These are the double solid lines. <laughs> and what it is up ahead, they're actually using a, using a truck to put down the lines. Here's going to be a turning lane, and generally, the paint is not going to be 100% perfect. But what you're going to have is something that's necessary. And yes, this is part of traffic control, and this is part of the pavement, the pavement that we have to do. Just making sure that nobody runs over anything. Now, before we go on, how do we know the lines are going to go in the right place? It's very simple. You see right here? This is how they lay them out. This is where it's going to stop. This is where your crosswalk is going to go. This is, they have to lay them out. over here again how do you know where your signs are gonna go surveyors come and stake them out and what you have here going on down this is where a sign is supposed to go this is your station 156190 again here's another stake sign 156182. This is where your lines start. These are double yellow. And then they they transition from double yellow back to 
skips and a solid yellow line because this is where the center lane begins. Here's the transition. back these are your permanent signs your speed limit signs and they're definitely putting brand new ones in here And it's very important that you see what's going on here because these pavement markings are going to be needed for lanes, crosswalks. You see how they're all laid out? This is going to be a crosswalk here. This is where all your safety is. And what's going on today, they're doing a lot of traffic control operations. They're placing signal heads for all your traffic signals. So again, that concludes this topic on traffic control. I'm gonna just call it part one because there are some other traffic control operations that I'm going to show you. But this one, I just want to give you the first part on pavement markings. Now, the truck is going to come back around again later on. And I'm going to show you how they're placed. show you how signs are put in or installed but again thank you for viewing this video on pavement markings traffic control if you like what I just presented please comment share and subscribe and if you're looking for some political content check out the 401 talk zone radio show also on YouTube. Now, if you can't find the 401 Talk Zone radio show on YouTube, or you can't find the QCIS channel on YouTube, you can check both of those channels out on Twitter. Now, for the QCIS channel, I'll take it one step further, since it's an educational channel. You can also find that channel on LinkedIn. And once again, Thank you for viewing this edition of the QCIS channel here on YouTube and on this channel. You get a daily dose of science, technology, engineering, and math. Till next time, my name is Leon Jones. I want you all to have a wonderful and gracious day.
again I decided to uh, put my voice back into this video what you see me doing now is I'm giving you a look at the traffic control devices the signs and our pavement markings this is a big operation that's going on today This is what they look like when they are putting them down. Now, what do they look like before they put them down? This is what they look like before they put them down. That's how they lay them out. Again, you can see the the paint. These are temporary markings. And I'm inspecting them to make sure they're put down according to plans and specifications. Now this sign up here, that's a temporary sign. This sign right here, that's a permanent sign. And again, those are pavement markings. Here's what everything looks like before the pavement markings are completed. And again, thank you for viewing part one of Traffic Control Devices here on the QCIS channel. On this channel, you get a daily dose of science, technology, engineering, and math. Until next time, my name is Leon Jones. I want you all to have a wonderful and gracious day.